Uh, great enthusiasm, great attitude today. The guys came out to work. Lots of details. Obviously, offense working on, you know, some new things. You know, some old things that we've done in the past, um, but some some really good stuff on offense. And, and uh, you know, we got a lot of pieces to put together. I think uh, that'll be the the big thing. Spring ball is find out, you know, who the 2022 offense, defense, and special teams are going to be. So uh, it's good to get. I think we got nine or ten new guys out here today. So it's good to see uh, them get some work. So questions. How close is Nick to being 100 percent? Nick's 100 mm percent. -hmm. He's 100 percent right now. I mean, How did he look today? He's back. He looked good. I mean, you know, we're not getting quarterback's never going to get hit, so it's he wouldn't be 100 percent. We would not let him get hit if we were going to live scrimmage today. And the quarterbacks were going to be live. He would, you know, we wouldn't put him through that. But quarterbacks are not going to be live this spring, uh, so that's kind of where we are there. Were you guys at with the installs with uh, Frank's offense and everything with what was done before practice and now getting into? Um, you know, we're where we should be. We're install one today, and we'll just keep installing and uh, throwing stuff in, you know, at the kids. But they've done a good job picking it up. You know, we've had, you know, today's spring ball one, but we've had obviously, you know, you know, voluntary meetings and, and different stuff that we've been able to go through some of our workouts where we've had an hour of football just to kind of install stuff there. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a work in progress, and uh, I feel good with where we are. Kids are picking it up well. Um, there's some rhyme and reason to the offense, and. Even with what we did last year, we, you know, change the terms a little bit in some things, and it made made make more sense. Ted, awesome. you got a lot of a lot of returning guys, but one group that seems to have the most turnovers linebackers this year. You got Boston back, but a lot of new guys. How have you seen that group coming into just the early start of the spring? You know, they've been good. You know, meetings. We'll find out today. Today, watching the tape today. Well, I'll let you know more. You know, tomorrow or uh, Wednesday, I guess, after practice, just to see where they are and what they're doing. But. Um, it's hard to tell, you know, out, out in shorts. But the big thing we can see mentally, are they where they're supposed to be? Then they got to make a play. But the big thing is, are they able to line up? Are they executed properly? And then physically, are they going to make the tackle? We'll find out, you know, on Friday. What have you seen from Boss as a leader leading into spring ball? Just kind of like his, his, his carrying himself around the locker, around the team. Yeah, I mean, Sebastian is, is a, you know, maybe one of the smartest guys on the defense, if not the smartest guy in the defense. So he's great. You know, it, we can challenge him mentally with a bunch of different stuff. Obviously, he's going to, you know, be huge in, in coaching the rest of the guys up. And coaches and meetings, he, he's taken them for the last two months, really, in meetings since school started. He's been in there watching tape, you know, with, with the, all the guys in that room, just getting them coached up and we're not allowed to do it. So, um, he, he's been, he's a coach on the field. Is Jordan, Jordan taking, that, that, taking over that role, wide receiver? Yeah, I mean, Jordan's still a quiet guy, but, you know, I think, you know, all those guys that next, you know, those guys are all going to lead. Jordan's going to be a guy that's going to lead by example. Sebastian will lead by example, but also be a vocal guy. Um, I don't know if Addison's going to be a vocal guy. We'll find out. And how do you handle what happened last year? Do you remind them, like, hey, this is the standard, this is what we want to do, or do you just what shut the door year? and move on yeah, to what next year? What happened last year? <laughs> I don't even know. You know, this is 2022. It's a different team. Uh, we're going to prepare the same way, Jeff, um, and uh, go out and have fun. You talked to Heather a few weeks ago, and she said that the contract negotiations were close. Any update? How, how, how are um, going? I think we're close. I mean, spring ball number one. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Big thing is our assistant coach got taken care of. That was the priority number one, and then we'll work on that. It's, it's, it's close. If the guys who didn't practice today, are they going to practice at all this spring? I can't. Some guys yes, some guys no. Which ones? Can't tell you. Can't tell you. You'll see it every day when you walk out here. Which one? Oh, he practiced today. Good. Um, just during the the winter workouts, were there any standout guys, guys that got bigger? And just looking at Gavin today, he seems bigger already. Yeah, there's a lot of guys. I mean, um, maybe I'll give you a little update on some of these guys. I mean, you look at the tight end position for example. I mean, Renda's like 255. All those guys, Cole Mitchell. They're all bigger, they're all faster, they're all stronger. I mean, Coach Stacchiati does a great job. And you know, again, it's a small period of time. I mean, you think when they came into school in January, so you have January and February, it's been a month and a half of, of workouts. But the biggest one will come after spring ball is over when they get into summer workouts. It's a, you know, a big eight week period that they'll have even more time. But our guys are, are stronger than they were, they're faster than they were. Uh, I really feel good about what Coach Stack and his staff have done that year. Pat, I know you've had time in meetings, but how has Slovis kind of reacted on the field in the limited time that you saw him today? You know, we'll, we'll look at the videotape. It's kind of hard. You, know, you watch him throw the ball. I mean, the ball comes you know, out of his hand really good. Um, you know, same thing with Nick. So you'll watch the tape, and we'll you know, make those evaluations. But I'm happy with where he is. Uh, new offense. He's having fun and, and enjoying the process. 
Other than being injury free, what's the overall goal of spring football? To get through an injury free, number one, and again, you know, we got a ton of objectives. You know, each position's got objectives that we want to get done. You know, offense, defense has objectives. Obviously, as a team, we have objectives, but um, you know, offensively, it's different than defense. Defensively, we want to, you know. Replace the guys without there, find out where our weaknesses are, and offensively, you know, you're, you know, combining two offenses together, trying to make the best you can. So um, that's that's the objective is to get knowledge of the offense and uh, fix it up there. I mean, that's, I think that's key. Any position changes? Not that uh, I can tell you. That's important right now. No, I mean there's a couple of safeties that don't really matter. Like Buddy Mac, I would say, is one guy that's moved to the outside linebacker spot. He's a quick twitch guy that I think will grow into that position. You know, we'll watch the tape and see where he is. And we can always move him back. He's really smart. He understands the defense, so he can always go back and play safety. But we want to see what he has in the background. That's the only one I can think of off the end. Star position. Final. The star position is like a third safety anyway, right? It really is. I mean, we don't play with a nickel, but we don't play with that, that star position. guy that's a linebacker slash safety. He's got to be tough enough you know, to be a linebacker, and he's got to be athletic enough to, you know, to play in space on those guys. So it's a combination. And, you know, we've done, you know, Sean Ado was a safety that moved to that position. So um, when you look back at him, I mean, so there's always, we've always made those moves and just get him closer to the ball and, and get him active. A little more, yeah. Johnny? Nice to have Jake uh, healthy. Cradle, Sorry. cradle. Yeah, it's great to get him out there. You know, again, he's still, we're still slow with getting him in there. He could, you know, he's ready to go, but we're just, we'll be slow with him. I'm not sure what he did today. We'll see, I don't even know if he took a team left today or not, but uh, I think we're a little slow with him. But he's, he's doing, he's doing well.